Sixth grade Excel, lesson 98, selecting the most reasonable answer involving percents. And you guys already know how to do percents, so this should not be too tough for you. And we have live in the studio audience today, we have my two friends, Kaylee and Emma. Say hi. Hi. And Taylor. Say hi, Taylor. Hello. No. <laughs> Taylor doesn't want to say hi. Okay, so here we go. The circle graph on the right shows the results of a poll taken in Ricky's class about each student's favorite color. Match the following percents with the colors they represent. So the larger the percent, the larger the piece of the pie. Oh, isn't that hard? So we got 45, 10, 25, and 20. Kaylee, what do you, which color do you think is 45%? Yellow. Yellow, that's very good because 45% is the largest percent and that's the largest piece. <laughs> How about 10%? Emma, what do you think is 10%? Blue. How'd you know that? It's the smallest, the smallest number with the smallest percent. Now these two are a little bit trickier. We got 25 and 20 percent. Anybody want to take a stab at those? Say it. Taylor, what do you think? 25 percent is what color? Green. Green, look at that. You're in second grade and you're doing sixth grade Excel. And so that makes 20 percent be for the red. Oh, that's pretty tough. You guys are smart. Okay, now let's do a little harder ones. Match the percents that are given with each of the selections on the graph. All right, I want everybody to go ahead and try those on their own. Pause the video and start it up when you're ready to see the answers. All right, now that you've done the problems, here we go. 55%, everybody, what letter? Very good. 15%, that looks like it's the, well, let's go to the smallest one next, 10%. Which one do you think is 10%? B is correct. 15% would be what? C and 20%? E. D. There we go. Okay, number two. 40% looks like it's the biggest one. Ooh, this is a little tricky. Which one do you think is 40%? E. What do you think, Tay? 40%? 40%? Yeah, that would be B. Looks like it's a little bit bigger than D. So that makes D what percent? 35%, good. And 10% would be what? C. A. Oh, A. Taylor, you missed one. Come on, you're in second grade and you can't do these perfectly? Okay, 15% is what letter then? C. C, good. And now down to number three, 60%, the big giant piece, that would be what? A. A, very good, A. Okay, the smallest, let's go to the smallest one next. 5% would be what? C. C, come on everybody. 10%, the next biggest piece would be what? B. D, that looks like a little bit bigger than 10%, doesn't it? And then 25% or a quarter of it, right? A fourth of it is what? B. All right, we're getting all these right here. Let's start with the smallest one on this one. What's 10, which one's 10%? C. C. 20% would then be what? A. A, good. 30% is? B. B, good. And 40%? D. Beautiful. These are so hard, aren't they? Okay, now what we're going to do is have to find the missing percent. So they give you, they tell you that C is 14%, B is 35%, and D is 40%. And then you have to find out what A is. Well, how are you going to do that? The whole pie is what percent, everybody? 100%. 100%, okay. So if they tell you the other percents and you have to find the missing piece, first you just add up all the ones they give you. So that would be 14 plus 35 plus 40. That comes out to be 89. And if the whole thing's 100%, take 89 away from it, and you get 11% as the missing piece. Too easy? Okay, everybody go ahead and try number six. Pause the video and then turn it back on when you're ready to hear the answer. All right, so what are we gonna do first, everybody? Come on, Emma, what are we gonna do first? There you go, add all the numbers. So I'm adding 12. 27 and 40. 2 plus 7 is? 9. Good. 1 plus 2 plus 4? 7. Woo! Okay. 79% all the pieces except for the missing piece. And the missing piece then would be 100 minus 79, right? Mm -hmm. And what is that? Can you do that in your head? 21. Oh, good, Emma. 21. Okay, so the missing piece is 21%. Now, can we match these up with the pieces? 12% looks like it's the smallest, so 12 would be what? D. D, good. 27%, uh, that's not the next biggest. 
21%, the missing one, is the next biggest one. So which, which one would that be? A. I think it's A? Yeah, probably A. And then 27%? C. And you can kind of tell that it, this one's 27 because it's a little bit bigger than 1 fourth. And 25% is a fourth, right? And so obviously 40% is? B. B. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, now what they're going to do is not give you the percents written out as numbers, but they're going to do it as words. So then you have to compute the missing percent, draw the graph. Oh, they even want you to draw the graph and match the percents with each section of the graph. So we're going to do the whole thing here. Uh, we'll do the first one together, and then I'll have you do the second one on your own. Okay, 5%. First of all, let's write these percents out. So that's going to look like that, right? 15%. Another amount and 45% will be that, and then we're going to have one piece that's missing. So, what are we going to do first, everybody? Add them. Add them together, okay, good. 45, 5, and 15. Can you do that in your head? First two, 50, and then 65%, right? Now, what do we do? 100. Minus 65%. Can you do that in your head? 45. 35. 35% is the missing piece. And then they tell us they want us to make a graph and match the sections on the graph. So let's make a big circle. And let's start with the biggest piece. 45%. That's almost what? Almost 50%, so almost half. So let's kind of come down to the middle there and then maybe peel it off just a little bit. Okay, we're going to call that what letter? What do you, what do you want to call that? A. Makes sense to call that A. Mm -hmm. So we're going to label this one A. And then the next biggest one is what? 35. 35, okay. And 35 is going to be a little bit bigger than 25%. But if I did a line right here, this piece would be 30%. Do you see that that would be 30%? Because it's missing 5% right here. Okay, so I got to go a little bit bigger than that to get 35%. Let me see if I can somehow uh, get rid of those little dots. Oh, look at that. Woo, they're all gone. Okay. So what I'm going to do is not go straight across, but slightly come up here, and then that's going to be my 35%. Okay, then what I have left is 20% between the 5 and the 15, and that makes sense because that's a little bit less than 25%. 25% would be over here for this last piece. You see, so I've got 20% in that, but I've got to split that into a 15 and a 5. So I'm going to split it maybe about right there. And the 5, let's call that C. The little arrow there because it's too small to fit it. And then D would be the 15%. Okay, everybody go ahead and try number 8. Pause the video, turn it back on when you're ready. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. Let's switch to it. In fact, let's get all this stuff off of there. Okay, what are we going to do first here? What is that? What percent is that? Actually, let's go ahead and move to the next page because it's got it written out for us. So we got 25, 25, and 20 percent. So the first part of the problem that I do is good. Add them together: 25, 25, and 20. What does that come out to be? 70 percent, right? What do I do next if we find the missing percent? Good, 100 minus 70, you can do that in your head, 30. is 30. Okay, and then I've got to make a pie graph here, and the missing percent is 30. So what do you guys want to start with? What's the easiest one to show on there? Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know, I think that there's an easier one than 30 to put on there. 25s are going to be the easiest, right? I've got two 25s. So what, what would I do? to get those 25s. <laughs> how am I going to how am I going to make 25% just a real easy way? 25% is the same as what? What fraction? Uh, four or one, fourth. one fourth, okay? So a 25 and a 25 makes 50, right? Yeah. So I can just split it there and then split this right in half and call that A and call that B. And I've got my two 25s. Now what I have left is 20 and 30. So I can't split it 
straight across there because that would be 225s. So if I just bring it up slightly, then this becomes my 20 and that's my 30. So we'll call that C and call that D. All right, there you have it. Thanks for watching.